friends and welcome. Today we are going to make cubism style self portraits in the style of Pablo Picasso. So you have learned about Pablo Picasso and he developed a style of art called cubism. And this is an example from the book and we are going to make a self portrait in the Pablo Picasso cubism style today. So the supplies we're going to need, we have our piece of paper, a pencil, a Sharpie marker, and then we have some paints in various colors, and we will need some brushes, just a few brushes, maybe like a small, medium, and large size would be good. And then we might need some paper towels. A cup of water to clean our brushes and then also a mirror since we'll be doing self portraits today okay the first thing we want to do is put our name so my name is Tiffany we're gonna put our teacher's name here And we are going to put our grade. This is second grade. Whoops, G-R-A-D-E. There we go. So very important, we wanna get our name, our teacher's name and our grade on the back and we wanna use a pencil. Only use pencil, please. Okay. So we are going to start out, we want for this project, we wanna fill up the whole page and have the whole page look super colorful. So since we're doing a self-portrait, we're going to start out, and these are very, what you would call a stylized portrait. And so we are going to use the mirror as inspiration, but this is not going to be a picture that looks exactly like us. This is going to be more of just an idea of sort of the special features about us. So we will start out with drawing our head. Now, you can look in the mirror and some people have, some of us have more of an oval shape head, some have a little more of a square shaped head, some have a little bit of a pointed chin or a more rounded chin. So take a look at the shape of your face. Now I am going to draw my face. We'll just, we're just gonna very lightly draw in our, with our pencil. And I have a little bit of a pointed chin. So I'm gonna draw my face like that, okay? And we want a nice big circle or oval face shape to fill up the paper. Okay, and we are going to draw one side of the face that looks like our profile and one side that looks like the front. And that is going to be the cubist style like Picasso. Okay, so we're also gonna wanna do a little neck and shoulders here, okay? And then we were going to start and we're going to draw a line down the middle. So we're going to start at the top and we're going to draw our nose. Now you can take a quick look at your nose and see I have a little bit of a triangle shaped nose. This is from the side. So from the side, my nose looks like that. And then we're going to go down. And again, this is straight down the middle. And then we're gonna draw our lips, a bump, and then our chin. So you can look and see, do you have like a, you can do a straight line down or you can do like a rounded chin. I'm gonna do a little bit of a rounded chin for mine. And if you need to erase, that's okay. I'm gonna just erase that. So then we're going to 
finish drawing our lips from the side view. So if you wanna make it like a smile, you can, or you can make a straight line across, any shape smile that you would like. And we're gonna draw lips, okay? So then up here, we're going to draw an eye that's a profile view because this whole side is like a profile, the side of your face. So to do that, we have our nose here, so we want our eye to go right about here. We're gonna draw the start of a triangle. I'm gonna go down like this, okay? And then we're gonna draw a backwards C shape. I'm just gonna draw around. So that's gonna be our eye. And then we're gonna draw around like this. That'll be our iris. And then we'll do a dot for our pupil. And then on this side, we will also do an eyebrow. And you can kind of look at the shape of your eyebrow. Mine is a little bit like that. And if you want to draw an eyelid, you can do an eyelid. You can add eyelashes if you want to add eyelashes. And there we have it. So then on the other side, we are going to do a front view. So we will start with the front of our lips. So we will draw a line here and here and here, okay? And then we will draw our eye from the front. So it, we are going to do a curve here and a curve there, kind of like a football. And then we will draw our iris on the inside and a dot for the pupil, okay? And then if you want, you can add an eyelid and you can also add, if you would like, eyelashes and an eyebrow. So then you can look at the shapes of your face and add whatever you would like. Okay. So now we're going to add our hair. So if you have short hair, oh wait, First, we're gonna add our ears. <laughs> so we're gonna add a C shape on this side and a C shape, backwards C shape on that side. So those are our ears and our ears kind of go from about our eyes to our nose. But this is Picasso and this is abstract so we can put them however we would like. And then what we want to do is we will add our hair. So if you have short hair, you can draw short hair. If you have long hair, you can draw long hair. If you have a ponytail, you can do that. If you have curly hair, draw it curly. So my hair, I have long hair. And I am going to start and from the side view, like this is our profile, I'm going to draw my hair like that, and I'm just gonna have a little curl at the end. And then on this side, I'm gonna draw it and have it go like that and do a curl that way. But that's because that's what my hair kind of looks like, so you should draw your hair the way your hair looks, okay? And this is a time also we can add any other details, like if you have earrings, or if you have freckles, you wanna put some dots for freckles on there. If you wear glasses, you can put your glasses on there. And then I am going to add my shirt. So I am going to do a line here and a line here for my shirt. And if you're wearing a necklace, you can put that or you can draw a necklace or anything else you would like to add that's special about you, okay? So if you want to change anything or if you made any mistakes, you can go back and erase, okay?
Okay, so I'm gonna erase here. And then what we wanna do is we're gonna take our Sharpie. So when we have our drawing ready, we're gonna take our Sharpie and we're gonna do nice, bold outlines. And it's okay if you make a mistake because really there are no such things as mistakes in art. We just like to call those happy accidents. Okay, so we're gonna do our outline. And we want this nice and bold. Okay, now if you would like, we can also go back and erase if you have any extra lines, just very gently, but we're gonna paint too. So the paint is gonna cover as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna erase a little bit, but we don't need to erase everything. I'm just gonna erase that line in my hair. Okay, so the next step is we're going to paint and we're gonna color this in. Now, if you'll notice, Picasso, he did not use realistic colors, right? So, and he used some fun patterns and lines and things like that. So we are going to do that with our portrait. Now, if you would like to make some things realistic, you can. So for example, if you have brown eyes and you wanna draw brown eyes or you want to paint blue eyes and you have blue eyes, then we can do that. But you can also have fun with the colors and do different colored eyes or different colored hair, whatever you would like for your self portrait. So I have some colors. I am going to do green for my eye. So we're just gonna paint and fill these in, okay? And then my other eye I'm going to do brown. So I'm going to have to make a brown. And brown, you kind of just mix up some red and some green, a little purple, a little blue, and you get a brownish color kind of a mix of all the colors. That's actually a little bit of a purplish brown, but I like it, so I'm gonna go with that. And then, just go in and we're gonna paint all the colors. And we wanna paint in the background and we wanna paint all around. We want lots of bright, bold colors. <music> Thank you. 